What is up guys, DZ here. It's 3 a.m. on a Monday morning, so you know what that means. There's a new Master Duel update. The update today is pretty big. We have new cards like the Adventurer cards and the Fluanderese cards and support for older archetypes like the Live Twin support. We have a new ban list, or I mean we have a couple new ban list hits, I should say. We'll take a look at those in a moment and maybe even some new cosmetics, who knows. But uh, this just went live. I'm sure most of you are probably not watching this at 4 a.m. I like to imagine Imagine you guys like having your breakfast with a cup of coffee, watching DZ open some packs right here. But this update is huge. It's probably on par with the Sword Soul slash DPE update. This is definitely going to make a big impact on the metagame. And Konami has done some pretty interesting stuff here. Now, this just went live, so I don't know everything that is here, but we will go through and take a look. Of course, okay, so new cards available in the shop, new structure deck available in the shop, and new accessories. Oh, okay, I did not realize that was happening. So first up, we have the Wandering Travelers pack. This pack is incredibly good. So we have Trouble Sunny, which apparently is an ultra rare, great new card for the uh, Evil Twin archetype. We have the Fluander Rees archetype, and I'm kind of looking at the rarities here. Weird, okay, so this is the only ultra for the Fluanderese deck which means it's probably going to be pretty budget friendly actually. Next up of course we have the Adventurer token archetype which is going to be played in a ton of different decks. So this archetype actually has three different ultra rares which is pretty unheard of. Um, that's actually pretty crazy. So this is definitely going to be a huge engine in this game. A lot of decks can play it and it looks like if you want to play it you are going to have to uh, craft a bunch of ultra rares here. We're going to open some packs later on in today's video. We'll see how hard these cards are to pull but uh, for now let's back out and take a look at what else is new in the shop so we do have a new structure deck here this is a dragon maid structure deck which is pretty interesting you do have the two main ultra rares which is pretty nice we also have uh, I guess the heretic seal that's another good ultra rare so that's probably the main reason that you would buy this structure deck I feel like at this point most dragon maid players already have their deck complete but uh, dragon maids have always been a good budget option in this game and it looks like now you can make them even easier which is pretty pretty cool. Um, moving on though, what other stuff have they added? Oh, we have a deluxe pet? What does that mean? I mean, in this case it probably means that it switches forms, right? Okay, I guess I can't preview it, but yeah, this one switches forms. A deluxe pet, very interesting. That's a new one for this patch, of course. For the fields, oh, they finally added Skyscraper. Very cool. This is, of course, the uh, Elemental Hero field spell from way back in the day. Definitely going to be uh, using this soon. By the way, I will be streaming on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday this week. So make sure to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash DZ if you have not already. We also have the Dragon Maid sleeves. Pretty cool there for Dragon Maid players. And finally, icons. We do have House Dragon Maid. Still missing a lot of the uh, like pets and dual fields and stuff, but we do have some pretty cool updates here, which are definitely nice to see. Do we have any more solo mode content? Let's take a look. Sometimes I miss this kind of stuff. Oh, new gate options. We have, um, is this new? Yeah, probably, because this is like the uh, GX duels. Kind of interesting here. Do we have any like big reward? So the second duels reward is this Draconic Tactics uh, thing. I guess it glows. It glowed when I opened this originally. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty interesting. So that is a uh, one reward here. Oh, and then at the very end, the clear reward is the Elemental Hero Stratos pet. That is a really cool reward and very on theme for these uh, GX duels. We're probably going to spend some time on one of those live streams trying to unlock that because that is a pretty cool pet. Without further ado, though, let's go back to the pack. Oh, I'll mention that the uh, Forbidden Liminalist update, if you guys did not see here, I believe the only changes are um, actually with these Adventurer token cards. So you might have noticed earlier that uh, Water Enchantress and Wright are both already semi-limited, even though they are brand new into the game. This is actually great. I believe I even, like, predicted predicted this kind of accidentally a couple months ago, but uh, this is definitely a really good change. The engine is still going to be perfectly playable. If you play like Foolish Burial, you're already up to five starters instead of six starters, like with three copies each of those cards. So I think that you still will see a lot of this engine. It is still very good. Not to mention that with cards like Cherubini that a lot of decks can make, you can pretty easily get to the Water Enchantress because that uh, can be banished from your hand or graveyard. Let's open up about 10 or 20 or 30 of these. Who really knows? Um, we're just going to open a couple handfuls here, though. 
one ultra rare. That's not very good. Like I said, I have really bad luck when it comes to these selection packs. I remember with the Agent one, I think I bought like a hundred of them and pulled zero copies of the new Synchro Monster and only one copy of the uh, Majesty Hyperion main deck monster, which was really disappointing. Nice, new ship, by the way. Sioux ships are definitely a lot better with this update. Maybe I should try to build a Sioux ship deck, who knows, but <laughs> let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Next pack here. Small World! Wait, Small World's on this game! That's a huge card! This is going to make a big difference. Um, wow, there's so many good cards in this pack. It is just really crazy. Small World is a huge pain to use in real life, but in a game like Master Goal, it might not be so bad. Oh, we did pull Fateful Adventurer. This is a card that you only need one copy of. Well, sometimes two copies of. So in terms of what decks are going to play the Adventurer token engine, Prank Kids are obviously at the top of the list there. They only have like the two Roxies as their hit in this game. Um, you can still play all the other stuff that is really great in that deck. And that was a top strategy in the TCG for quite a while. And that was even when uh, the Cat Link 1 monster was at one copy per deck. And in this game it is at uh, three copies per deck, which is pretty crazy. Um, anyway, we have the uh, Robina. The Fluonaries deck is really good if you are not already playing Veiler or Imperm or Droplet in your main deck, you might want to consider it because those uh, Fluonaries cards are going to rip apart decks that are not prepared. That is definitely not an archetype that I am really excited to play against. I really do not like that deck. Um, even with a side deck like in the TC, it's still kind of frustrating to lose to sometimes, but in this game as a best of one, it's going to be pretty tough. Ultra Rare, show me Adventurer card. Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, this card is uh, not only not an adventurer card, but also very bad. The Fluonaries deck does not play this. I think it's funny that they're like keeping the tradition alive of putting that card as a super high rarity, even though it's not very popular. In the TSG, it is available as a Starlight Rare, which only a few cards are available in that rarity, and it's not very good, which is pretty funny. Last pack here in the first 10. Maybe we'll open like 10 more packs and call it a day. I'm going to be opening more of these on stream this week while we pulled all three of the sushi ships in one pack that is beautiful but uh yeah i'll be opening up more packs on stream of course but just for today's early morning video maybe we'll open 10 more but if we don't pull an ultra right here we're opening 10 more after this because we are not ending on no ultras <laughs> we will pull an adventure card i promise token stampede broken man these selection packs they always seem so good because it's like oh every single pull is going to be from like the selection pack instead of like the secret packs where it's four and four but you can pull so many bad cards also ultra rare upgrade what do we got <laughs> oh wait this was an ultra rare too water enchantress our first copy of that fantastic and rookie warrior lady why is this an ultra rare it's so bad but i know they gotta put bad ultra rares in these packs can't be uh, pulling cracked every time but maybe we can pull Cracked in today's opening. One more Adventurer card out of these uh, 10 packs here that we bought would be crazy. Okay, Evil Twin, not a new card. The Link 4 is a new one, but still a very good card. Those are actually in the Altergeist pack, so I have a ton of them. Maybe I could do an Evil Twin video. I'd have to ask uh, Crush Cards because they are experts with that deck. Oh, we do have another Ultra Rare. Okay, I was baited at the beginning. Rabina. Nice! Another Water Enchantress. Okay, actual huge pickup. These 10 packs have been a lot better than the previous 10 packs. We just need those two copies of Wright and one copy of Griffin. Um, I don't believe that Illegal Knight is in this game though yet. That is probably going to be a little bit. That card is very good though. Or pretty interesting, I guess. Maybe in a best of one you wouldn't play it, but it's pretty cool. It's like another target for the uh, Fateful Adventurer. Dang. Oh, the uh, map is a rare. Wow, interesting. Man. Would anyone like to see MBT and I like play more of the selection pack only duels with these? I don't know, maybe not, but we did that like a while back. I don't know if people want to see more of that. We uh, didn't do one with the previous selection pack, but this one's pretty hyped up. So maybe people would actually like to see that, but who really knows? Draco back is a rare, makes sense. Two packs left here, by the way. Um, nice! Gunkin Suship. Um, wow, we have pulled so many of these Gunkin Suship cards. Maybe we do have to play those. I don't know. <laughs> MBT is like the expert when it comes to that deck. If he posts a steal my deck with the new Sushib cards, maybe I'll have to uh, actually steal it and try to make a video with it. 
And we have M Pen for our final super rare, very good card, the uh, main boss monster of the Fluanderese archetype. So yeah, this selection pack, I mean, it's just so much better than the previous one. Yeah, the agent cards were cool. Yeah, people definitely did play them, but this one has tons of great stuff. And I didn't even mention like Ruin Force, really cool card that uh, definitely can do some pretty crazy combos as I've shown on the channel in the past. Maybe I'll have to make a video of that card. There's so many cards in the sets that I want to make videos with. This is definitely going to be a big shakeup for Master Duel. So make sure to stay tuned for more Master Duel videos. I'll see you later though. Make sure to follow me on Twitch. Goodbye.